What is this? Square. Yeah. Square. Yeah. Rectangle. Uh, square shape. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> so, rectangle. This is closer to a square now? Yes. Yeah. Let me draw. Okay. Area of a square. Yeah, good. One after the other. Perimeter. You know perimeter. How do you calculate perimeter? Tell me quickly. 4 into A. 4 into A. A. A and A is the length of the? Okay, good. In case that's me go. Area. Area. Chapu. A into A. Same, same. A square, right? Yes, no. Area that's A square. Perimeter is A, A, A. In case that's square. Diagonal of A square. Diagonal of A square. Okay, how do you calculate diagonal of A square? According to Pythagoras. How do you apply Pythagoras? This is A, this is A. Therefore, this is square root of A square plus A square. So, 2A square. Kabati? Root to A. Very good. In case that's me go. Square root in candles. Chalwain ta? Very good. So what do you need? What all do you know about a cube? Quick. Square under takka takka is very sure. That is the fifth class below. Now I have a cube in Japan. Come on, tell me about the cube. What do you know about the cube? Okay. Do you have anything in the shape of a cube, anyone? Do you have anything? Okay. You can just have to imagine just now here. Where a compass box in the square shape of a cuboid shape of a cuboid shape. Or the compass box in the amal level of a cuboid shape. Okay. Let's imagine this as a cuboid. Okay. So, if you put a cuboid in the ground, what do you mean? Because if it is in this shape, we call it as a cuboid, right? So basically, a cuboid unna prema tandani length unta tandani breadth unta the height unta. Yes, but in this case, length, breadth, as well as height, all the three are equal. equal. That's the reason it's called a cube. cube. So, what is the volume of a cube? A cube. A cube. Hello, Chidi. Why that is called volume? Equal size. What's the length into breadth? Correct, sir. Length into breadth. I'll formula allow it to be. Okay. So very simple. Let's quickly imagine this. Oh, punch it down. taken by this entire space, right? So basically, if you imagine there is a small layer here. What is the area of this layer? The layer, area is different. Length into breadth. Very good. This is length into breadth. How many layers are there from here till here? How many layers are there from here till here? Height layers. If you were to imagine one unit of layer, one unit, one more 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 unit, height and the layers are like. Andhu Karagu, volume of a cuboid is length into breadth is the area in the base area and when you multiply your base area with the height, that gives you your volume. So volume of a cuboid is length into breadth into height. Jeevi Tanta Gurtu Bed Koch. If you think like that, you will remember everything. Now let's understand what is called lateral surface area. 
What is lateral surface area? Epudaina, either solid body in the lateral surface area or on a Lateral surface area is nothing but the surface area that you can see laterally like this. If you see it like this, the area is lateral surface area. What is the area of this space? What is this? What is this? So this is length into height. Kavati tha length into height. So length into height, length into height. Two lengths into heights. What about this one? Length into height. This is breadth into height. So BH. Breadth into height. So BH. So basically, two LH plus two BH. That is lateral surface area. Right? Someone will ask you what is total surface area? What is total surface area? It should cover top also, down also, upside as well as downside, right? So what is the area on the top? Length into breadth. This one? Length into breadth. Therefore it is twice length into breadth plus 2LH plus 2BH. So basically it covers everything, that's the reason it's called total surface area. Now why you should understand, someone tells you to calculate. Say, there is 10 rupees per square feet is the painting cost of this room. Okay, what will be the cost of painting this room? That's a simple application. Now if you know, will you be painting this side? Let's assume you will not paint this side. But will you paint this wall? Yes. So you can calculate, okay I have to paint this, I have to paint this. So I need to calculate how much is this length, this length, that length, whatever. Are you getting what I want to say? Yes. Brilliant. So let's can you apply quickly the same things for Q? A to the A Q to the because it is A into A into A. So what will be this one? 4A square. 2A square plus 2A square. So it is 4 A square. Total surface area? 6 A Brilliant. So, but we are not in the class of mensuration. Okay, we are not here to learn mensuration. We are here for a different purpose. So, let's see the first question. So, I generally, these kind of questions don't require any concepts. First, we'll go with the question. Let's see how many of you think. Then we will solve the problem using a logic. Okay, so these are no concepts, it's a logical way of applying to this question. First question, cube slope, page 2. Go to page 2. What's the question there? What's the maximum number of identical pieces a cube can be cut into by 6 cuts? Maximum number of identical pieces a cube can be cut into by 6 cuts. Okay, you have a cube and you have to cut it into using six cut setup. So he's asking you how many maximum number of identical pieces you can cut. Tension is Kogandi. Five minutes are all the Ilanias are built. Kanyala, Alacheda, and Guinea, and the formal level of school, life flow, nature call, mind, and the Nipo Jamu, Kadilistuna. In the letter Jivita, no, I mean Kotoko the problems of state. There's a problem of the I mean, examine the reservoir of the state. Okay,
Anyone? See, you have to tickle your brain. If you don't tickle your brain, you'll never think. Okay. Even if you don't answer, I'm okay. Just tell me what are you thinking? This girl looks to be doing something really serious. What are you doing? Okay. Where are you calculating one? Who gave you the data? Did anyone give you data? Six cuts. There are only six cuts. So how will you decide? Did he give you any side? Did he tell you the area of it? No. He's asking. What is the question asked? Maximum number of identical pieces. Six cuts. How will you think? You'll cut? Uh, tell me how, how will you cut? <laughs> Come on, very good. Cut. Okay. See, in life always remember, always, it's always easy to think from basic. <laughs> so for example, for a kid, how will you teach numbers? Will you teach him 10 directly? Mm -hmm. What do you say? Give him a pen and say, or chocolate, you'll show a chocolate and say, how many chocolates are there? If he knows the numbers, he say, if he's, if he's a Telugu kid, he'll say, Okati and Right? So then he'll say, this is called one. Right? Then he'll show two chocolates. Then you have to put, then he'll start thinking, right? So then he'll say, there's something. Or if you put two chocolates here and four chocolates here and show him which one is more, he'll tell you, four chocolates is more. Then he gets to know that this is more, this is less. Kids don't understand numbers, right? When a one-year-old kid, can you teach him numbers? No, you cannot. What you can teach him? What is more, what is less? He'll understand that logic. Because if you put him 10 chocolates here and two chocolates here and say, take one of them, one of this. So he'll pick up 10. Why? Because he wants more. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So logically also, when you think, so it cuts, he's talking about six cuts. Then neither did this. Everyone, look here. Imagine this is your cube, there's a background to it, forget about it. <coughs> if this is one side of the cube, now take a look at it. Now if you use only one cut, how many identical pieces can you do this? Two. Two. You have to cut it only once. Two. How will you cut it? Uh, I did you exactly cut it in between, yes or no? Yes. yes. So if this is the cube, you cut it like that, yes or no? Yes. Like, this is how you cut it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. You cut it like that. So, if this is your cube, imagine this is a cube. If you will cut it like this, right? So, how many pieces will you have? Two, two identical pieces. Yes or no? Yes. Use your common sense. Look here, everyone, everyone. So, if using one cut, using one cut, how many pieces will you have? Two, two pieces. Two pieces. Very good. Now, what will we do next? Two no cuts. Imagine the same piece now. Let me draw it simple like that. Okay, now there will be two cuts. How many pieces can you get? Three. Four. 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 Very good. Someone said three. Is he wrong? Yes. yes. No, he's not wrong. Why is not wrong? Someone said three. Now tell me why he is not wrong. I'm saying he's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why? We can cut it equally. What do you mean? Two parts. Very good. How will you do it? So you'll cut like that. You'll cut like that. So how many identical pieces will you get? Three. three. Okay? So you see, who said three? Raise your hand first. Are you right? Yeah, three identical pieces. You can use two cuts and divide that into three equal pieces. Very good. Now what is the other way of doing it? Yeah, but, but. Uh, who said but? Uh, but, tell me. Good. First I I ask sir. Uh. The remaining of the remaining half I will still cut one time. So okay, I'll explain what you are trying to say. What he's saying is I'll cut like this first. I'll have two pieces, I'll cut that like this. So I'll have four pieces. Four identical pieces. Yes, you are logically right. Is he right? Yes. Yes, he's right. Absolutely right. So the same cube if I were to have like that now, let me take it in the shape of a cube. Right? Yes or no? Yes. Now, if I cut it from this side, I'll have two equal pieces. Another cut will be from this side. 
So how many pieces will I have? Four. Four. So what did you learn now? Using two cards, I can have three pieces. I can have four pieces. Now all smart kids will tell me, if I were to have three cards, how many pieces can I have? Six. Six. Tell me how. Uh, you cut it diagonally, sir. Mm. So, like, you'll have you that in that way, you, you'll be doing three cards and you'll be having six identical cubes. Okay. Okay, take it, but I'll tell you. Four. How? Four? One more. How? Show me. You cut it all with two Okay, so you're saying. You'll have four like this. So you're using, you're just replicating this. Okay, very good, brilliant. So what she's trying to say is, sir, if this is the cube, okay, now I need to do three cards, one card, two card, three card. Right? So she'll have four pieces. Very good, four pieces. Any other answer? Six, sir. How? You are thinking right, but your, your number is not right. So one vertically and two horizontally. Okay, so like that you will get six. Okay. Yes, Very good. <coughs> Very good, I like that. What she is saying is, I will cut one like this, I will cut like that, so I will get six pieces. Is it the maximum? Eight, who said eight? Someone said eight. Who said? You're right. Who said? Are you? Eight, sir. How, sir? Uh, uh, horizontally three. Horizontally three. How will it be? Yes, sir. Come on, come on, think. This cube has three sides. I'll cut one like this. Two pieces. I cut like this. Uh, I'll cut one like this. I'll cut one like this. Four after that? Like that. This like that. Okay. This is length. I'll cut like this. This is bread, I'll cut like this. There's a height, I'll cut like that. In the height also I can cut like that, right? <laughs> cut like this, cut like that, cut from this. Aren't you visualized? Yes, yes. Sir. You have a cube there, you have a cube, you can cut from here, you can cut from here, you can cut from here also. So how many pieces will you get now? Eight pieces. Digra? Can you imagine? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Sure? Yes. Pakka? Yes. Sir. Well, I'm not going to give you any formula. This is logic. Right? So, now if I take the same cube, if I cut from here, I cut from that bread. Okay, let me draw it then. I have to show it. Then only you'll understand. <coughs> so, basically, you're cutting from here, you're cutting from here, and you're cutting from here. From left, red, and height. You are equally cutting from in between. So how many pieces will you get? Eight, Eight pieces. Now smart people will tell me without doing anything. Use your common sense and tell me if I were to do six cuts, how many maximum number of pieces can be made? How? Very good. 4 into 4 cubes. 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 Horizontally 3 vertically 3. Horizontally 3. I have only 6 cuts. What is your answer? 32. 
Is it correct? It's wrong because you are not thinking. Okay, for you to think, for you to think, tell me, in one cut is there anything called maximum or minimum? No. One cut will divide into two pieces only. Two cuts, is there a minimum and maximum? Yes or no? Yes. There is a minimum? There is a maximum. Right? In three cuts? Oh, there are three options there. Right? More cuts you have, you'll have more options. Yes or no? Yes. Why you'll have more options? Because you can decide how to cut. You can cut it from same side. You can cut it from two sides. You can cut it from three sides. So if you use your common sense, you can see you will have maximum number if you are spreading your cut. Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. See here you are getting six. You have only cut like this and like this. Therefore you are getting six. But the moment you cut from all the three sides equally, you had more pieces. That's it. That's the logic. Come on, do it. 24 pieces. Do it for 6 cuts. 24 sir. No? If you do 6 cuts, how many identical pieces can we form? People who did not, do you know how the sixes come? How does the six come? Tell me. If you have cut it like this, you divide into two pieces. So that is two. And when you cut like this, you have divided into three pieces. Every two pieces have become three pieces of it. So two into three have become six. How did this eight? How did this 8 come here? When you cut like this, you have divided this side into two pieces. When you cut like this, you divided that side into two pieces. When you divide, cut like that, you have divided height into two pieces. That's the reason it is 2 into 2 into 2, you got 8 pieces. That's the math. Are you with me? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Sure, you understand why the 8 has come? Yes. 8 has come because if I cut like this, I am dividing this side into two pieces. I am cutting like that. I am dividing this side into two pieces. I am cutting like that. I am dividing the height into two pieces. So it's 2 into 2 into 2 length into breadth into height. 
Are you okay? Yes. Why I am saying is my dear friend, 32 with Adhutar. Adhukar. The logic is 30. 3 cuts to the DPS line and 2. 4. 4. So this side, it has become 4 pieces. Like this also it has become 4 pieces. But the other side still remains like that. Into 1 only. Basically it is 16. According to your cutting. Are you okay? According to your cutting, you are dividing this cube into how many pieces? 16. Because on the other side you are not cutting at all. So that, that piece, what I am trying to say is, your length, let's assume you are dividing into 3 cuts like this. So this is divided into 4 parts. Length has become 4 parts. Your breadth has also become 4 parts. Or no, you have divided height. But you are not doing anything with the breadth. Breadth also 4 cuts. How you? You have only six cuts. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that length two cuts? Length yeah. Answer simple and day. Very good. Why 27? Uh, horizontally two cuts. See, what? did I teach the answer? No, you are arriving at the answer. That's how you will learn. Yeah, go ahead. Horizontally, horizontally two cuts, vertically two cuts, and towards the right two cuts. Brilliant. Now, because you want the maximum cuts, because you want the maximum cuts, your six cuts should be equally distributed on all the three sides. Yes or no? Yes. Then only you will have more pieces. That's what we learned here, right? Yes. If you have three cuts here in this three cuts story, if you cut from one side and the other side, you have used only two sides, you got six pieces. But when you use those three cuts equally on all the sides, that is one, one and one, you actually divide it into two into two into two. So basically you got eight cubes. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Absolutely with me. Yes, sir. Same logic holds here. So when you have a cube like this, now when you have six cuts, three. what are you supposed to do? Three. Two cuts on this side, two cuts on this side. The moment you do two cuts, you are dividing this side into three pieces. Three. This into two cuts, you are dividing this into three pieces. You are dividing this by these two cuts, you are dividing the height into two, three pieces. So basically, your number of cubes will be three into three into three. Therefore, it is 27 pieces, identical pieces. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Absolutely with me. Yes, sir. Only and both. Now solve all the problems. So what is the next question? We'll discuss one after the other. Second one. Maximum number of identical pieces a cube can be cut into by four cuts are? Four cuts. Cuts. How much? 12. 12. Is everyone convinced with 12? Yes. Look here, look here. We will go to the next question later. First, is everyone convinced with 12? Yes, sir. Why 12? Uh, we do two cuts on one side. Are you in the class? Yes, sir. You understand what we are talking? Yes, sir. Tell me the answer for the second question. Maximum number of identical pieces a cube can be cut into by four cuts. 12. How? Horizontally to vertically. Horizontally to vertically to? No. If this is your cube now, four cuts. Now horizontally to. So if you cut like that, so this side you are dividing into three pieces. Vertically to. If you cut like that, this also you are dividing into three pieces. But what about the breadth? You are not cutting at all. So that remains only one piece. So number of identical pieces in that case will be 3 into 3 into 1. Is it the right answer? No. What's the right answer, madam? You're not getting. So why are you not asking? Now, when you have four cuts, look here, everyone, people will not get it. Now four. Now you have to do four cuts. So can you equally do it on all the three sides? So equally what will happen? 1, 1, 1 it will happen. 
So, but you have another cut, right? So you have to take that cut on any side. So when you do one, 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 no, what will you do? Two, one, one. Two, one, one. Two on one side, one, one, one side, one, one, one side. Will you do two, two, zero? No. no. Two, two, zero? No. Why not? Two, two, zero will not give you the maximum number. Your maximum number will come when you multiply, right? So your multiplication will increase only if because on the other side, if you put do only zero cuts, it will become as a one piece. Yes. So no, yes. that's the reason I would prefer doing it as two, one, one, one. one, one. two, one, one. So two, one, one. How many pieces are here? So if you do two three, cuts on one side, three, how many pieces? Three pieces. Three pieces. Two pieces. One cut. Two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces. One cut. Two pieces. So total number of pieces one. three into two into two. Twelve pieces. Is everyone okay now? Brilliant. Next one. Maximum number of identical pieces a cube can be cut into by 17 cuts. What of all the answer? 17 cuts. Come on, tell me the answer quickly. So much time. Ui, kya kar rahe ho, madam? Aap two ninety, two ninety four, two ninety four. See, look here, seventeen cuts. Look here, look here. Itna time nahi. Seventeen cuts. You are supposed to equally divide to three sides. So eighteen. If it were to be eighteen, what would have been the answer? Six, six, six. So if it is seventeen, it should be six, six and five cuts, right? Simple. It has to be six, six, and five cuts. For six cuts, how many pieces? Seven. seven. Six cuts? Seven. Five cuts? Six. Answer is seven into seven into six. Seven, seven, the forty-nine. Forty-nine, six, the fifty-six, the is three hundred. Forty-nine, six, the two ninety-four. Yes or no? Yes. So, what of math? Seven, seven, the forty-nine. Forty-nine, six, the fifty-six, the three hundred. Forty-nine, six means? 1, 6 is less. So 6 less than 300, it is to be 294. Yes or no? What are you doing? Are you okay? Yes, sir. So next. 1000, 1000. Maximum number of identical pieces a cube can be cut into by 27 cuts. Three equal parts. Very good. 27 is 999. So 10, 10, 10. See? Fata, fata. It's a two second question now, please. But you have to conceptually understand what's happening. You can solve any problem in the world. Okay, good. What is the least number of cuts required to cut a cube into 100 identical pieces? Come on. What is the least number of cuts required to cut a cube into 100 identical pieces? Now, ulta issue question. The question has been reversed. Now he's telling you he wants 100 identical cubes. How many? What is the least number of cuts required? Get a small toffee if you answer quickly. Ten, ten, ten. Ten. Because that's uh, okay.
Very good. So let's do it. Everyone, look here. Now, how many cubes do you want? 100 cubes. Now, for you, sorry, 100 cubes, you need 100 identical pieces. Now, you know for sure 100 is a multiplication of something, right? Some x into y into z should give you 100. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now here 7 into 7 into 6 has become how much? 294, right? So these are 294 identical pieces. Now how many identical pieces do you want? 100. 100. So if you want 100 identical pieces, that should be multiplication of apple into monkey into some donkey. Yes or no? Yes, sir. I am not aware of that apple, monkey and donkey. How will I do it? I need to factorize this. Good students know 100 is nothing but 10 into 10. Yes or no? Yes. You know 100 as 10 into 10. You also know that 10 is nothing but 5 into 2. Into 10 is 5 into 2. Yes or no? Yes. Now if any smart kid looking at that will say, Sir, 10 into 10 into 1 will not give me maximum number. This will be maximum, right? Yes. So, if this is maximum, the number of cuts will be minimum? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So, for me, for the cuts to be minimum, with the minimum cuts, if you want more pieces, with minimum cuts, you want more pieces. That means your minimum cut should be equally distributed. That's what we learned, right? With three cuts, if you want a maximum number of pieces, your three cuts should be equally distributed. So that's the reason you have cut one here, one here, one there. Yes or no? Yes. So that means your cut should be equally distributed. If your cuts are equally distributed, your multiplication should also be equally distributed. Yes. Two into two into two is your will give you maximum. Similarly, here seven into seven into six would give you maximum. Instead, if I were to do the reverse way, let's assume instead of six six five. If I were to cut this 17 as, for example, 10, 7, and 0, how many cubes will I get in that case? 11 into 8 into 1. 11 eights are 88. Is it maximum number? No. So if your multiplication has such a huge variation, your number of cubes will be? Less. Will be less. So for your number of identical pieces to be more, your cut should be more. equally distributed. Then with the less cuts also you can get more identical pieces. So here 10 into 10 into 1 will not lead to least, least cuts. It will give you more cuts. Whereas now, 5, 2, 5, 2, if you are a smart kid, you will do it as 5 into 5 into 4. Now, for 5 into 5 into 4, for 5 pieces, how many cuts do you require? 4, 4, 4, 4 cuts. Hello? Hello, Ulta TV? You understand what I am doing? So, for you to get 100 identical pieces, I have used the math, we have come to 5 into 5 into 4, for you to have 5 pieces in one direction, how many cuts you need to have? 4, four, four, cuts. four cuts. For this 5, four cuts. 4 cuts. For this three 4, cuts. Three cuts. you need 3 cuts. Now whereas if you were to go, just to understand, for the learning purpose, for you to have 10 pieces, how many cuts? 9, nine, nine, nine. nine. <laughs> ah, nine. 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 For these ten pieces, nine. Nine. Zero. for this one piece, zero. zero cut. Nine plus nine plus zero, eighteen. 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 So with eighteen cuts also you can get hundred. But the question is not. It's asking you least. For least, the multiplication, the closest multiplication is five into five into four, which will lead you to four, four and three cuts. Therefore, 4 plus 4 plus 3 
you will need 11 cuts. Padi cutwa you are a Naro, Padi cutla to team, Bunda ye chansu, Lenadi Bagawanto to Chibuda, she read it. Magic show got it. I think tell you about Is everyone with me? Am I at the moment? Huh? Ochawa, Inawa, Poyama, and Tagalu. Are then that both the classes are all good? Are then the age of both the teacher in Arya? Where are we now? Six to one. Six to one. Come on, solve that. What is the least number of cuts required to cut a cube into 48 identical pieces? Similar question. Quickly, crack. Eight. Eight cuts. So how? 48 is how much? 8 into 6. So even if you want 8, 6 is 48. 8 can be written as 4 into 2 into 6 can be written as 3 into 2. So basically it is 4 into 4 into 3. That's the best answer? Yeah. So for 4 into 4 into 3, how many cuts do you require? 3, 3, 3, three and 2. 3 plus 3 plus 2. So you need 8 cuts. Very good. So the next one, there's a cube of 64 identical pieces. How many more such small cubes will be required to cover this cube completely? So there is a cube of 64 identical pieces. So there is a cube of 64 identical pieces. Right? So that means there is a cube, 64 identical pieces. If you look at 64, you know 64 is 4 into 4 into 4, right? Yes or no? So basically if you were to visualize, how will that look? 4 into 4 into 4 in the sense there should be Three cuts this side, three cuts like that, 
right? Yes or no? Yes. That's how it will look like. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. Similarly, it will look on the other sides also. Now, what is he saying? How many, many more such small cubes will be required to cover this cube completely? Now, you have to cover this cube. What do you mean by covering this cube? So, you have a cube like this, you have to cover this totally. Yes or no? Yes. So, just imagine, what do you require to cover this one, this side, this face, this? You need another, another layer, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So, basically, there are one, two, three, four pieces. So, can I, can I put another piece here? If I want to cover, it will cover this side. If I put this side another, it will cover the other side. So basically, you have to put what? One full layer of small cubes of one side, six. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Can you imagine what we are talking? Yes. Imagine JND, you have to cover this, this side now. Okay, there are four by four kind of thing. Do you think similar cubes you have to put here? Yes. To cover this base also you have to put here? Yes. Hmm. Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. So on each side now there are four. So how many you need to put? Six. 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 So basically you have to create a new cube that looks like six into six into six. Will it cover the entire cube? Yes sir. You have a cube which is four into four into four. If I, if I create a new cube, just imagine, I'm creating a new cube which will have 6 into 6 into 6. Yes, sir. Will it cover this entire cube? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will definitely cover this entire cube. Cover in the sense, button not You have to just close it totally. But with the same cubes. Oh, no? Yes, sir. So 6 into 6 into 6 will take care of that entire cube. So what is 6 into 6 into 6? 216. How many cubes do you require to do that? So this is inside. This is overall. Overall you need 216 cubes. Already inside you have 64 cubes. So how many new cubes do you require to do this? 216 minus 64. How much is that? 6 minus 4 is 2. 152. You need 152 more cubes to cover this entire cube. Can you imagine that? Very good.